After our first assignment, like we turned in our first assignment, my high school photo teacher was like, Ian, can I talk to you for a second? Mm -hmm. I hate when that happens. You're okay. like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, what did I do? Like, I didn't plagiarize or anything. Like, Ryan was helping me out. Like, there was nothing I could have done. So she took me out. She had a couple of my photos in her hand. She's like, Ian, this is like photo two quality work. Is this your first time printing? I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she, we were printing five by sevens. And she goes like it's that number, like we had to pay like 20, 20 bucks, and we got like fifty sheets of paper or something like that. I forget what it was. Good but thing. she was like, I want to see what you can do printing eight by tens. Here's a box of paper. Go at it. She just gave me a box of paper. <laughs> That's awesome. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so then I went at it, and it was awesome. And like I was really into it because like that was like a rough patch. Of uh, for me, like, uh, my family went through a lot of shit, and I went, I was going through a lot of shit personally. So, like, I really just, like, put 110% in the photo. And, um, like, Ryan was, like, telling me all these, like, little tips and tricks of, like, you know, like, how to solarize and stuff, and, like, little cool things to do to manipulate the image in the dark room. I thought were awesome. Um, then my senior year, I took an independent study photography class, because my teacher liked me enough that I didn't have to. Good morning! <laughs> my teacher liked me enough that I didn't have to take photo two first. She was like, oh yeah, you can just go to independent study. You don't need to do photo two because you practically did photo two for photo one. Like, awesome. That's great. So, did that. Basically, I had to have 100 prints on display by the end of the semester. Did that. And um, then I got to college and I was just like undeclared until... I saw that there was a photo class, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm taking it, basic photo, all right. <laughs> and that's where it all became. Like, the first memory I remember was, uh, we were in Disney World, so it was my job to take pictures of the family and everything, and it came to a point where I had, like, this nice, like, vista or whatever, like, you know, take a picture of the family, and, like, I was busy, like, off in, like, a completely separate, like, different direction, and I was, like, taking a picture of, like, a flower or something different, <laughs> and I was just, like... That's like really my first memory of like shooting photography. And then after that, like we used to go camping and I would always be shooting nature shots and whatever. And then like in middle school, I got my, my first digital point and shoot and I had like a little tripod and like, <laughs> I would like push it to like the max of like the best I could. And like I had little tricks to make it do what I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like finally in like uh, my freshman year of high school, I got um, like a Nikon D50 and then started shooting with that for like four years. I had a D700, like my uh, end of my senior year. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. But I mean like ever since then I've always had a camera on me and that was like the only thing I did, like ever. 
I yeah. always had it on me too, and that was, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> That's my photo love story. I took pictures when I was a kid. No trash. Uh, with like one of those. They're trashing it. Yeah. You know, Kodak. Burns, or, in yeah, with Kodak disposable cameras. Really, you know, just nothing, no technology at all. You're, you know. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> 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 and um yeah so photography wasn't really my thing but I guess I got to photojournalism um partly because of uh this graphic novel comic book thing I read um for Transmetropolitan it's, pre it's pretty great there's a uh, the main character is this, this guy who's like based off of Hunter S. Thompson um but it's like set in the future, and his name is Spider Jerusalem, and he's like this, this, you know, secret agent, like, journalist, writer, guy, who just like, is, is awesome. Um, it's really great. And that's, and I always wanted to be a secret agent when I was a kid. So, uh, I, I settled, I settled for journalist instead. <laughs> Do you want pancakes? I do. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, freshman year of high school started shooting film. Just because I thought it was cool, right? Like, wow, everyone thought it was cool. <laughs> and then I started spending every afternoon in the dark room. I had this boyfriend at the time, and I never hung out with him, so I was always in the dark room. And he told me that I loved him and cared about that more than him. <laughs> and I guess at that point I was like, well. I guess I do. <laughs> so then I did my thing and now I'm here. I don't know. This is all where it started. <laughs> Nothing really more than that. So I decided to take um, basic photography class even though photography was not my major. And um, my last semester at Temple actually I was senior super busy. And even though I was taking senior classes, basic photography class was taking the most amount of time out of all of the classes. But um, I enjoyed it uh, thoroughly, and I really fell in love with it, um, with all of the assignments that <laughs> Dr. Trace gave us. Um, and the atmosphere was really cool too, you know. I think business students are much more dry <laughs> and, um, you know, less crazy <laughs> compared to communication students. Um, so that's a good part. And besides that, when it comes to photography, I just, you know, like capturing moments. Um, this is a little. And, 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 you know, maybe showing. Um, these moments to, through the images to people to appreciate or for me to appreciate. <laughs> um, I am a visual person and I like capturing beauty and you know beauty can be seen in so many things. Um, and it's just amazing how how, how photography can assist you with that. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew that whatever I wanted to do, it had to benefit people in some way. So I mean, originally I wanted to be like a doctor. Actually, originally I wanted to drive trains, and like, we didn't have anything to do with that. But I wanted to be a doctor at first, and then I, I was thinking more agriculture in like late middle school. Or maybe it was agriculture than doctor. I can't remember. Either way, um, an ex kind of, like I had some interest in journalism, um, just because my dad always watched the news at night. And, you know, I mean, I see it every night, so I kind of started to like those people on the news. And I thought it'd be cool. I, um, I got involved with the paper the next year. Um, and as I was, was signing up for classes that year, I realized I had half credit that was open. I forgot about a major class I had to take, but I was like, oh, since I have this half credit, uh, I, I, gotta, I could take something. I saw there was a digital photography class. And I'd been playing this one video game called Dead Rising recently, where you play as a photojournalist named Frank West. And I was thinking, well, Frank takes his own photos. I feel like it would be a good skill for a journalist to have to know how to like understand a camera and work it so you can take your own pictures, just so that you're more well-rounded. So I took it. 
I went to advising with uh, Andrew Mendelson. I don't even remember why I went there. Um, and I was talking about how I was thinking about taking basic photo. And he had uh, asked me, well, I was like, well, you have to take a tract, and you're currently undecided tract-wise. Why not just take photo? I'm like, eh, sure, sure I will. So I became a photojournalism major. I met Dr. Trays, and suddenly I started caring more about photo than the journalism.